Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to create a make file for a Golang program. So what is a make file? Well, strictly speaking, a make file is just is just a sophisticated uh, shell script. So in order to read and make file, you need to use the make utility. And the make utility is simply a shell, a Unix-based shell uh, program, which goes back uh, to the 70s and if you ever programmed in C or C++ you're probably familiar with it. Make utility comes uh, by default with uh, most of the Linux distribution today and can be very easily installed on a Mac machine and I will uh, add the link in the description to show you uh, exactly how to do it. Now it is available for Windows uh, users as well but please take note that the scripts that I'm going to show you in uh, this video will need to be modified to a uh, Windows uh, CMD if you want to use it on a Windows machine and I'll add uh, the link for how to install it on Windows in the descriptions. Now when you run the make utility by default it will look in the root directory of where, wherever you uh, run it and we'll look for files that are called the uh, make file like this or the same with a capital M and when it finds this file it will read through it and execute all of its rules so we will talk about what are rules uh, in the next couple of minutes exactly and I will show you how to do it so rules is just a structure, a syntax structure uh, of, uh, of commands in a make file and to show you, let me just create some whatever file and to show you this so a rule uh, looks just by uh, a target separated by a column, a dependency if uh, you need one new line, a tab which we'll uh, tackle in, the, in, a <laughs> in a couple minutes and followed by the shell uh, script which can be I don't know, echoing uh, something. And that's about it. And we will deep uh, dive a little bit more uh, next just to show you what it means. Now, if you want to read a little bit more deep inside what a make utility is and its options, you can uh, look at its manual and you see some history. Uh, about it and um, uh, deep descriptions of all of its options and you can scroll and see for yourself now obviously you can just uh, use the me the help flag to see of all of its options for example uh, you can specify using the F flag what exactly path or file if you want a different name for your make file uh, should the make utility execute so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a very small hello world golang uh, program and we'll together we will build the make file for it and compile it and do some other stuff so let's start about creating a, a simple go project uh, let's call it make me create the SLC folder inside of the main package let's get inside of it and now let's create the make uh, go file the main go file sorry and let's create the make file with no spaces so the make utility can recognize it super now let's open it in atom a text editor or whatever and let's create our small program program let's uh, just uh, call it main import uh, fmt so we can do some kind of printing the main main function it turns nothing and oops didn't mean to do that let's print something like I was made by a make file 
Amazing. Now let's close the program and focus on the make file. Now first we want to declare some uh, variables uh, that we will use later. And you don't have to do that, but for a good order for the make file as then it goes bigger, uh, you really should. So basically we're just declaring uh, a variable as we would declare a shell variable. So using the dollar sign, we're doing the current dir for the build path should be from the root now for the go command let's use shell which uh, shell which on go and then we can find out what program we use uh, what version sorry we use for uh, our go so in my case i'm using go 1.6 and this is the full path to it uh, if you have multiple go versions on your set like i do so this is an important thing now let's do the go install use the go variable from before and install do the same for uh, go clean so what we're doing basically we're just using the go utilities and assigning it them for, to variables so we can use them later as one variable uh, at a time now let's name the executable which in our case in the main package and, and let's ex export the go path which will let us to use different go path each and every time uh, we run different programs so they can be stored in multiple places and eventually um, would not contradict so now let's add the heart of the make file which are the rules and the actions the rules are what you use later on with your uh, make utility and the actions are the action which you will call so let's start with a simple rule just to show you guys how it works let's uh, do my name and now you separate it with the column a new line and a tab and now let's just use a shell command to echo I I'm a make file so now each time we will do make my name you will get uh, this action to be called now let's do a real uh, action let's to let's start with the build so let's call it uh, this rule build separate it with the column a tab and let's use our variables from before which is the go install and the executable which will eventually make the go install main command now let's test it just so as i told you before use it with a make file let's let's just try first the the my name and as you can see we get it printed out i'm a make file now let's try to build it and our project got built it's pretty cool now we have a bin file and if you run it we get our program running so but it's still not complete because i still want the project to be built uh, with its folders I mean bin file by with go is automatically added but we're still missing for example the package so let's create a make dear rule and with it we will check if uh, we have bin and package folder already and if we don't we will create them so let's do a simple shell command if statement to see if we don't have uh, the bin full path uh, folder and if we don't then we will create it uh, we will create a new one so let's do make dear we do p for the full path to be created use the build path uh, variable and do the bin folder and if you just uh, close it as we're doing uh, shell now let's do the same for the package folder and there you have it 
Now with make dear we can create our folders. Let's see how it works. Let's do make make dear. And voila, we have the package folder uh, added to the bin folder from before. Now let's add the clean uh, rule which will clean our packages. Let's do rm minus rf build path and the bin folder with our executable now okay so now let's add the same for uh, the package folder and so now if we each time we do clean we will clean our uh, folder our project folders of the binaries and we can uh, reinstall the new one so let's do make clean ls and we see that uh, our package folder is gone and bin is empty which is exactly what we wanted now so now instead of typing each rule each time let's do one rule that have all the other rules let's call it all and let's just add the make dear and the build to it so now each time we will do make all we can have both of those uh, rules done so as you can see make all oops sorry we'll create the package the bin and our program runs perfectly now let's get a little bit fancy about it and create some echoes so we can know at what stage the uh, the make file is now so let's add a star building for the make dear rule let's uh, get the start building for the executable and most importantly let's add an echo for yay all done which will after the go install it means everything is fine let's make another one for the cleaning and now let's test everything let's do make all and you see that's working let's do make clean cleaning now let's say we want to add some packages so let's add the get rule let's add the variable for it go get and we use the go variable and get uh, of the go tools and the action will be pretty simple it will use the go uh, get tool and the name of the package now let's go find some random packages let's just see let's take mooks gorilla mooks is one and just add it to our make file let's take another one just to see how it works let's take my sequel perfect and let's take another one let's say the logrus package which is a very uh, practical one let's add it and there you have it we have three packages to import now let's add the get or all rule and let's do make all let's clean it before and do as you can see it's empty and do make all now it will take some time because now i am going to get those third party packages and print them and then you have it now the thing to remember that if i'm doing it again as you can see it's a lot faster because i already have the packages now if you don't want to see the commands executing you can just uh, add the add sign and now those commands will uh, execute silently and so just to show you that as you can see it goes fast and you cannot see the commands of the uh, packages Hold.
Now let's look inside the source folder and we can see our GitHub package and inside of it we can see all of our third-party packages, all the three of them. But now let's add the delete uh, action to delete uh, those packages so we can f refresh them if we ever want to update those. So let's do the source github chrome and let's just make sure it's working let's do make clean and we can see that inside the now one last thing remember we talked about that the uh, rules are separated from the actions by a column and new line and a tab so let's look at where that can catch us so you see that we have a one tab before but the problem is that I have in my atom uh, the tab key set it for tab which is not always a good idea in a text editor uh, sometimes you, you you will rather to do a tab this that is equals for uh, four spaces for example and in this case each tab in your uh, in your text text editor will give you four spaces and now thus it will look okay but it won't work let me show you that so let's just take a random line of action and let's make it spaces so i do one two three four and now when i try to run the make a utility it won't work so if you go inside the vim and we scroll all the way down we will find that vim will tell us that we are missing a tab here so let's just fix it from spaces to tab and now it should work fine so you just uh, oops sorry so you just need to take this one into consideration and with that i think we're done the make file works and our amazing program also works perfectly so obviously we just scratched the surface and you can do a lot more sophisticated uh, things with make files you can for example use it for testing and you can use one main make file to control and execute other uh, make files smaller make files inside the sub modules and thus creating a bigger uh, project i will add the link for this uh, make file example to you to use and you can change it whatever you like and create a lot of cool golang projects and finally if you found this video helpful in any way please like and subscribe bye bye